Hello and welcome to Chapter 21 of Dark Deity, The Advance Begins. Irving starts off by saying, Should have expected to find you all up. <sighs> Can't sleep. There's plenty to keep the mind busy, I'm sure you'll know well enough. Elias, any luck with a necromancer? <sighs> Not yet. The astral space in these anchors is immense and none too pleasant. I've encountered a few souls so far, but nothing resembling Achmenos. <sighs> Good gods, man, you look terrible. Are you feeling alright? I'm fine, just tired is all, though I must admit some of these souls, they're so... disfigured. Charming. Achmenos must have tortured them for years, and it seems he was fairly imaginative at his methods. It's hard to imagine the people they once were. Then don't try to. That could be just what he wants, to slow you down and discourage you. Listen, you've accomplished a great deal today. Why don't you get some rest? Perhaps. I think that might be wise. Hmm. Don't lose heart, Elias. Your efforts will bear fruit soon enough. A moment, please. Speaking of which, we've made some headway on the history of the object. The documents provided by the Mystic Council have been instrumental. What did you discover? Its creation appears to date back before the Calamity. In those days, there were many attempts to artificially manufacture aspects. The appropriate materials, or so they thought, were gathered. Crystals of varying qualities from the depths of the Void Maws. And they were often infused into objects and then flooded with exorbitant amounts of arcane energy. In this case, the stones appear to have been embedded into the branch of an ancient tree, of the species I'm unable to recognize. Of course, there are no indications that any of these efforts actually succeeded in creating aspects. Instead, many seem to have produced soul anchors, not unlike the stone which guided us to Koeli Sumash. So the staff functions as a sort of multi-roomed prison? Sure. Of souls, yes. And one that has survived millennia, that's without the typical signs of de deterioration. From the looks of the glove Akmanus wore to wield it, touch alone appears sufficient to transfer a soul into one of its anchors. Hmm. Truly terrifying. Perhaps it's best to destroy it. I wouldn't advise that, not just yet. There's still much we could learn from it, and I've only just begun to explore the records of known artifacts from before the Calamity. Pace yourself. If you say so, but it's evident we should approach this business about the staff with caution. I fear it may yet play some role in Akmanos' plot. Certainly. I concur. We'll tread lightly. I won't let it out of our sight, I assure you. Good. Now, if there's nothing else to report, I'll take my leave. Sleep well. We'll see you at the council in the morning. Okay, and then we're thrown right into the base. We have a lot of money to spend on stuff. And I feel like doing that might be wise, because we have a lot of things to upgrade. A lot. I decided to buy a bunch of uh, tokens and upgraded Sophia's crossbow into a mini ballista. So, um, hopefully that's useful. Let's have Irving and Lincoln chat a bit. Lincoln, I'll take this chance to thank you while I can. You fought valiantly at Arrogance, as if Esme were your own mother. I won't forget that. She might as well have been. She gave me two brothers to fight by my side. It's a great personal comfort to know she's safe. Still. For me as well, though it's no comfort to know our enemies would go to such lengths. You should assume their methods know no more no 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 moral bounds. How is this fair? If that's true, then this is hardly a fair fight. I've seen too much war to believe in fair fights. The ground is always higher somewhere, but it's not the advantage that determines the victor. Sterling knew that well. Do you miss him still? Of course, as do you, I'm sure. <sighs> I can't help but feel as though I could dispatch a letter to a courier and hear back from him. Or like I might run into him and sojourn at our next briefing. Look, I used to look forward to those. In a way, he's closer now. What we do for our country, for Atlan, we do for him. How do we get here, Irving? You consoling me as I mourn your own brother's death? It was a long road that brought us here. We've each stood on either side of grief at one point or another. Indeed. Indeed we have. And now the choice before us is as clear as spring water. Let's not hesitate to make it, for those we've lost and those who might yet be saved. I know I won't. There's no use turning back now. Alrighty. I'm gonna look at the rest of the bonds myself, and then we'll get started. I can't help but be curious. I've never heard of microtransactions, but it sounds really fun. What? I learned from watching some theater performances about something called a microtransaction. I sell a product that seems to be complete. Uh -huh. Anyway. After they buy it, I reveal that it isn't actually complete and that they're missing essential portions of the experience. Huh? 
<laughs> Turns out you can charge crazy prices for stuff that isn't worth what they're paying. Why would anyone buy that? Surely we just go to another salesman who doesn't do that and get a better experience. Uh -huh. If you stick around one area enough, you can teach all the other merchants to do it. Once you teach everyone to do it, the people who buy things in that area get conditioned to just be alright with it. It's like buying a dog new tricks, really. Or it's like teaching a dog new tricks, really. Uh, I'd like to see you work your magic. Yeah. It's not magic, it's marketing. Hmm. Wow, that was kind of bitter. <laughs> not wrong, though. Okay, so... Our troops can't subsist on their desire to over overthrow the king, Irving. They need food. Red Hill's our best bet. I'm not so certain. Can we really expect to win the hearts of Delians by depriving them of food? That might be just the spark Varric needs to rally his people for a counterattack. That's absurd. Varric's the one starving his people by refusing to submit. If he were to surrender, we would restore the supply lines the moment we got, got wind of it. The people may not see it this way. Surely an attack like this is not without risk. Nevertheless, it strikes me as a worthy risk to take. With any luck, our rebellion will be swift, and the people of Sojourn will need not wait long for liberation. Besides, if we don't act, the city might turn on Varric anyway. If we're not there to help, it'll be a bloodbath. Irina suggested an insurrection may be imminent. If that's the case, Alex is right. We'd best be there when it happens. We've seen what Varric soldiers are capable of. Many make no distinction between enemies and non-combatants. If we don't protect the civilians, it's likely no one will. It's settled, then. Lincoln, muster our troops. We'll need all the help we can get. Gladly. The revolutionaries go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Akmanos and defeat him, though he escapes into his staff at the last moment. Now, the intellectuals of the group seek to understand the staff and its capabilities, while the others plan to continue the war effort. Having amassed enough community support and troops to take Red Hill, they set their sights on the town. While their troops secure the area, Irving will lead the party on a daring mission to crush Delian forces from the inside out. A newly constructed fortress constitutes the major crown authority in the town. If they capture us, they take the town as well. I can't believe they managed to build this fortress so fast. How many troops are stationed here? Hmm. If our information is correct, we should be able to handle them. We won't keep the advantages of surprise for long. We need to stop them from sending out reinforcements. Some of these soldiers have no love for Varric, I'm sure. If we can get them in a bad spot, they'll surrender. Hold on. We should take aim for their leader. I know of the man they stationed here. He rules with an iron fist, and I guarantee you his soldiers hold no love for him. Right. Why fight to the last for a cause you don't believe in? Mm. This is where the tide turns. In position. Let's take back our kingdom. To arms! To arms, friends. It's time to be the aggressors. We've been called to the capital, says Diolfin. But sir, the revolutionaries have just arrived. Mm. Hmm. Barak knows this fortress will fall. He'll not give it up freely, but he sees use for us at the capital. He barters with our lives. He's leaving Delian soldiers for dead. No. Hmm. Bartering would suggest an, ex an exchange of some kind. This seems more like a sacrifice to me, and to a god that doesn't want it at that. Come. Come, then. I fear we'll lose our chance to leave if we stay any longer. Hey, then he runs off, I guess. All right. Chapter 21, the advance begins. Finally on the offensive, the Delian Revolution has marched on Red Hill, where King's Varric, King Varric's grip is loose. So, I think we've picked the units that are coming. I'm just going to switch around some units and check out the map. Okay, so just looking over this map, it looks like kind of a dungeon crawl of sorts, where we're going through doors to um, get further into the building and eventually make our way to the commander of Red Hill's Fortress, which is Jericho, apparently. He's carrying Dwarven Stew. Wonderful. Well, I'll make some final preparations here, just putting units in the right spot. Okay, let's begin. And we have to move our cursor back to... I don't know why it puts us at the top left, but here we are. So Sia's weapons are still, um, daggers, so that's neat. And, but we can still attack from two range with her, which is really nice. So yeah, we're gonna use that to our advantage quite a bit. It feels like this map encourages fanning out, but at the same time, we'll get bogged down really fast and not necessarily 
uh, go very far if we split up into two groups and go around this big tower thingy in the middle. It might be best, although maybe slightly redundant, to go in one direction with everybody. I'm kind of thinking this is the shortest path because it's one, two, three doors to get to the boss. So, like, why not do it that way? I mean, we have to actually go down here too, but whatever. I'm willing to try that. So, first we'll get started by clearing out this room and making it safe for everybody. It's inside of it. We'll start with Caius. No hard feelings! This is an easy choice. It's just good. And then he attacks again. And, uh... Hey, Lionel may or may not be able to finish this guy off. Nope, he cannot. Okay, how about we attack with, uh... Maeve? No, that's not good either. How about... Got it. Liberty. Liberty doesn't exact kill if she hits. Get on your knees and beg! And there we go. Goodbye. She levels up, of course. And here I thought I'd seen it all. All right, then. And... Now, hey, Lionel's not in a great position to be helpful here, but... Well, so it shall be. I'll get a chance to attack later. Let's have Sophia attack the guy here. Use the mini ballista. Dynamic duo coming through! And just do 48 damage. <laughs> Easy peasy. Maeve can definitely do the rest of this here. Just warbow it up. You've come a long way. Now, how much damage does Irving need to do to kill here? Okay, 62. I want to feed Irving a kill. Let's let Sia do some damage here. Cool animations. Then Irving strikes. Father. Give me strength! All right. Bonk. You're making me look bad. All right, one more kill for Irving, and then he promotes. So, yeah, that's good for sure. <laughs> Wanted to promote the sooner. Let's open this door with Monroe. Oh, uh, uh, okay, I see. By pressing go, I'm guessing we just go into the room. Okay. Let me get some... Move again? Really? Okay. That's... kind of broken, but I'll... I'll take it. Alright, that guy's pretty burned up. Then... The hunt is on. Ren goes through the door. Yes. And just finishes this guy off. Uh, Are you sure? Let me put you through the door here. Are you sure? And go like that. This is very, very close to a kill, so I'll take it. And again. Goodbye. Now. Go through the door here. And thought you'd never ask. Have Garrick play with these guys a bit. Ooh, he takes a lot of damage from getting attacked. Uh oh. Um. I'll put Garrick here. I'll play on enemy phase instead. I'll put Faust in the safe spot there. Right away. Move Lincoln in. And stick him right in the away. safe corner. And Fenton can go here. And right. mess with these guys a little bit from a distance. Oh, it's good that he hit that. Now let's see what the enemy does. Ouch. Well, 
Only the enemies in this room should move, really, because there's no reason for them to not for other enemies to move, unless they can go through doors too, which they might be able to. I hadn't considered that now, until now. Well, I guess we'll see. Ouch. Aye, that'll do. All right. Or I'll move ya! Kind of a strong attack, but at least this guy is gonna be gone now. Good. Got a tier one token out of it. There's other enemies on the map that also have tokens, but I feel like it's better to just move through the map fast and get rid of the boss fast than it is to like get bogged down collecting tokens from everybody, you know? Right away. Make sure Fenton's all healed up. And... Mm, with a Javelin or the Bulge, he does better in that room, so... Let's go here. Should I attack? I think we should. Yeah, let's do it. And then we get hits, but... Not a big deal. Monroe can stand to finish this guy off for me. Maybe Irving could have gotten it, but that's fine. You'll have another opportunity to get kills later. I will. Maybe even right now, if we send him through two doors at you know, one turn. I will. We can just kill this guy. You won't feel a thing. Nice. There we go. He's finally got his promotion. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a while. I'm thinking Dragon Knights, but uh, let's see what the other options are first. Cannot double. True speed adds to power. That's Boopy Pants, I think. Because uh, he has pretty high speed. So he'll be doubling naturally a lot. I think feel like that does more damage generally. Because... If you have an attack that could miss and you're doubling, then the chance that you do at least half of your total damage is higher than if you just have one attack that has more power to it. Anyway, Berserker, uh, power increased by up to 75% as health lowers. I ideally don't want Irving's health to lower at all. This is kind of flimsy. Chance to attack again. Uh, nah. I'm... Um, Sentinel's probably not gonna be a good choice either. I think I like Dragon Knight the most, considering Fenton's been using it. And I like him like him in it. I think, feel like I like Irving even more in this, so let's go. And I definitely think this is promising. Molten Globe. Lucky Stick. Let's just keep using Lucky Stick. Nice. almost dead. And we'll be dead very soon. Actually, that was a waste of an attack. We could have used 114 damage somewhere else, probably. <laughs> anyway. This should be fun. Uh, no. I'm gonna stick Garrick in a corner. And then have Faust... Heal Stop him up. poking me. Like so. Get these guys through the room now. Uh, Liberty can probably just kill this guy. Maybe. All right. Let's do it. And we can just move on. Maze falling behind and. I can get a shot at these guys, so I may as well. These are a three range for something. Like grinding Maeve's levels. Experience is a fine weapon. Alright, and then huh? Sophia can go in and catch up with the group. I guess. And then Sia I guess. can I guess. 
I guess, go here, and we can just disarm this guy he from something. a ridiculous range. All right, and ten. Good job. This is uh, an almost kill for Irving. You've made crits, your death a necessity. He clearly has. Very good. And then again. Nice. Oh yeah, high crit Irving is nice. And Garrick is fine too, I guess. I feel like maybe promoting him to sniper was probably a better idea than uh, than blade whatever, blade master, um, blade dancer, right? That that thing. Leave it to me. Just have Maeve do more attacks here for fun. Bye. Awaiting orders. Lincoln may or may not be able to catch up with the group eventually. Same with Liberty. Uh, Caius definitely can, since once he goes, Let's he'll get going. have another move, and he can just go right to the next room if he wants. Let's get going. Uh, at this point, though, I feel like just taking it slow is probably best. This is a good start. He dodges and then kills. Good job. With every shot, progress. All right. Now. Um. I might just leave these guys behind for other units to kill. Anyone that can't reach the door, really, can kill these guys the next door over. So I'm going to have you clean this You've guy up. You've drawn your last breath. Goodbye. This will serve me well. And it's here two token out of that. And Scarrick can kind of do damage there, but like Sia might be better, except for the fact that she can run to the door, so we'll let her do that. And then Sia can do a, a ton of damage there. For the stilettos. Wonderful. And then back to here. Um, can also send people through More the room work. like that. Boss can kill somebody, maybe. Yeah, we can get this guy. Goodbye. Who's next? Um, send Thay Lionel so it shall be. through like that. And also, not actually do anything. But he can be bait, I guess. Here, Monroe can go through like this and actually attack somebody, maybe. You crossed the wrong Valburin. Okay, this works. That works very well. Next. Sophia goes into this room and helps out here because otherwise this guy's gonna be a menace. All right. Uh, can Gary take asked. you out yet? No. All right, then Alden's gonna help out because Eric is a mistake for this room at least. I've got a lot to learn. Not bad at all. Thought you'd never ask. You know what? Garrett can do well in the room that Maeve this is be fun. playing in, so we'll just send him there and see how he does. I will. Meanwhile, uh, Fenton and Irving can do stuff. Um, what? I don't have the attack option there. I have to change. First before moving? Okay. That's kind of strange. How do you do with a Volge? Okay. Oh boy. Okay, again. There we go. Worked out eventually. That leaves Irving to, um, 
Let's the door, and then... Well... Let's see. Yeah, he's a little Whatever too takes. flimsy. We'll just keep him here for now. We'll even push fences Brace a little yourself. bit. Alright, that's fine. Gives us an opening to attack some of these guys in the pit area. I don't know what to call it. Oh boy. 275 missed so far for Fenton in this battle. Aye, that'll do. Right. And everyone is moving left in this little room, thinking that they can actually get to us, which they really can't. But Jericho is moving, which is nice. And gives us a fun opportunity to maybe kill him through here. What would be? With the power of trickery. But what's the best way to do that? If I must. Maybe phase CL move on. that. And I then, guess. Um So it shall be. I'll just get they land out of the way. As you command. Maybe help out here. Uh, no. As you command. Funny joke. Put you there. Can see I do much here. Oh yeah, she can do a lot. Oh, she got hit by a 16. This is to our end, right? Move Caius up and also put uh, Faust here to heal Sia. I will. And use these guys to eventually kill this guy. As long as they don't get crits. Good dodge. Alright. Then if we attack with a meteor here and hit, that'd be nice. Alright, so this room is safe. Let's get almost everybody into it. Onward. First, though, we have to do this. Destiny does not falter. All right. Nice snappy kill there. Thought you'd never ask. We'll send in um, Garrick here and just play around in this room a bit. Oh, he just dies. Oh. Okay then, uh We won't do that then I, I guess. Never Let's put Garrick over here. And then just move people up like so. Awaiting orders. This could be fun. Freaks me out that Lincoln looks like what he does. What happened to his legs? You know? They show up in cutscenes, but the hunt is on. Not, not in battle anymore. The I'm moving up a bunch of people up against the arena wall so that units can uh, kind of get attacked a bit and also attack into the arena. Let me at him! I'm just calling that big area the arena because it kind of looks like one. I wonder if we can phase people into it. That'd be neat. Liberty. Why do you even bother? Well. Okay, that almost kills. Sophia's gonna get a crit back, here. Creep. Great. And another shot. Fair enough. Alden's gonna have some fun here at least. Combat wise, he kind of he's kind of falling behind, but he's he does okay here at least. And what a surprise, Thalano can't do damage to a unit. Makes he's good at tanking, I guess. 
Stop poking me. Let's make sure that Fenton's healed up. Don't look at me. And then attack this guy as quickly as possible. Uh. Hmm. There aren't really good options for attacking here, but I'll use Meteor. Oh, okay. Very well. Uh, hmm. Well, it's a good chance we can get two crits here, but one would be plenty. You won't feel a thing. That's one crit. And you've made your death a necessity. All right, so we kill that guy at least. Strength is the only path to peace. Very good. Ah, uh, gonna just troll these guys from in here with a Lionel, I think. I'm not gonna attack or move forward at all. We're just going to, well. Um, we have to like go twice in order to As you command. move for some reason. Okay, okay, that was odd. Um, As you command. I'll go back and just wait here. Actually, As you command. I have range. Let's get going. Kind of to be better in there. I think Jericho's over here. But for now, I'll just throw some more knives. Do some more magic. Well, maybe it would be better to actually heal everybody instead. I'm gonna stick you here, Monroe, for now. Here. Well. Hmm. I've got it. Liberty over here. Do do firewall to hopefully hits. Okay, great. Just trying to get Jericho closer to the actual fight here. To do that, we have to cut through all these militia guys that are blocking the way. So. Wish I could do that. Impressive. Is it not? First unit with over 100 HP, Monroe. Congratulations. And, uh, you should use the mini ballista. Here goes nothing! Alright, down to 31. We get shot at a bit. Okay. Then. Let's do it! Alden can just eliminate this guy now. Let me at him! Let's send Ren towards the arena room. Uh, there's nothing here for Maeve left to do. I think Garrick can just go forward here. All right. Ouch. But that's okay. Because we're going to get some of this HP back now. And kill the guy too. One more for the good guys. That's always nice. Be honored that I'll kill you myself. All right, so this is 44 plus sorcerer's thing. Or okay, that guy's just gone. Wish I could do that. Oh, everyone seems to like Monroe. It's too bad he's gonna kill all these guys. Too bad for them, of course. Impressive, is it not? Excellent. <laughs> oh, crit. Ouch. Hmm. I feel like Monroe will hang in there. Can't get attacked anymore, at least. Oh, that's good. Okay. And Lincoln getting attacked is fine. 
is okay here. He's a spooky ghost. Level up for Alden. I've got a lot to learn. 38 magic and really high HP, almost comparable to Monroe. I don't know why mages have so much HP in this game. Why do you even bother? More HP than most of our attackers. Like physical attackers. And here I thought I'd seen it all. Alright. That's everyone. Now Jericho is there. Mm. Can't quite move Ren in. Even if we could, not sure it would be worth it. Mm -hmm. I think part one of our best bets is to have Irving Brace shove yourself. Ren, but then goes into the arena room, and then attacks Jericho. With uh, the partisan is fine. All right, now he's down to five, and we can just let Liberty kill. If she hits an 86, which she very well might not, so I'm gonna back her up. Just have, um. I don't have anyone else that needs promoting at this stage, so see ya. We'll just let her throw a dagger at this guy. Goodbye. Level up. Fine by me! That was a weird delay on the luck. Growth, but okay. Stage clear. Got a bunch of money. Albiran. Yeah, sure. All right. Irving, um, we did it, Rose. Red Hill's ours. Sorry. Yes, it's great news, really. But I was wondering, would it be all right for me to go and see my parents? Oh, yes, of course. You're a great fighter and friend, but you're no prisoner to us. If you want to go home, no one will think less of you for it. Come on! Speak for yourself, Irving. We've been through so much, Rose. You really leave us behind and sit at home while the kingdom burns? Um... Actually, um... I just met for an hour or two. I just want them to know I'm alright. <laughs> Say hello from Benji. Uh, -huh. uh, okay. How do you feel, Irving? Ah, well, I seem to have escaped the worst of it. Why? Do I look alright? Hmm... This is the start of a new chapter for us. We aren't fighting to survive anymore. We're fighting to build something better. That'll take some getting used to. Less than you might imagine, but whatever we destroy, we must pledge to rebuild. With honor. We will, and we will honor, we, we honor our oaths. Yes. Now we do. Uh, really quick chapter, if that was. I, I, I kind of like how it played out, and kind of like how it gave options to divert your path to other areas, but I just didn't see it as worth it enough. So I just finished the chapter really quick. Um, yeah. I, I kind of wish there was a little bit more. I'm thinking back to chapter two where the boss had the hot bean juice and like how you were kind of encouraged to get it fast enough. I don't feel like this game utilizes that a lot. It, those kinds of quirks were kind of in the beginning of the game, and now we're kind of just going quickly without really any regard for why. Uh, there's no, there's no real special reward besides more gold. It, it, it's definitely well-intended design choices, just not particularly effective ones, I feel, for what it's trying to set up, but. It's still an enjoyable game despite that, and it could it could easily change at some points with a new difficulty mode or something, but who knows. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a good one.